We think that the smartest way to save energy in the milling circuits of Canada's mining industry is to shock treat susceptible ores. Shot applies a short burst of high intensity microwave energy to effectively soften ore and promote selective breakage around grain boundaries rather than random breakage across grains to more easily free valuable mineral at a larger grain size from competent waste rock around it. Since it is becoming more difficult and expensive to process ore and the demand for metal is on the rise, without a significant change, metal production will someday not meet the world's demand. Ore is weak in tension, so even small thermal stresses create microfractures at the mineral grain boundaries that enhance recovery. This means energy input can be very low. Here at the University of Nottingham, we spent over 20 years investigating the fundamental interactions between microwave energy and metalliferous ores, and then taken that knowledge and understanding to design and scale up some of the largest microwave processing systems ever built, operating at over 100 tonnes an hour on commercial mine sites. For over a decade, Teledyne E2V and the University of Nottingham have carried out intense R&D into industrial microwave technology in large-scale mineral processing applications. Our work has shown that specific comminution energy can be reduced by up to 24% with a 7 to 14% reduction in comminution A times B values, a 3 to 9% reduction in bond ball mill work index and a 40 to 70 micron coarser grind size for equivalent liberation all together with an increase in throughput of up to 30%. The key barriers to adopting this technology relate to two aspects, investment magnitude and the investor's appetite for risk, which is why we aim to install SHOT into an existing 500 ton per hour mill, a factor of only approximately three on the pilot scale already achieved. SHOT was designed with scale up in mind, with the pilot plant being designed as a smaller version, which means scale up is reduced to an engineering challenge rather than an academic one. Working with a range of end users to review their current plant constraints, ore types, and associated mineralogies, to identify potential candidate ores and sites that would benefit from our technology, we will select six ores for detailed evaluation in the second phase. The CTU will be transported to SGS in Lakefield, where Teledyne will tune it for use in Ontario and train SGS personnel to safely operate it. SGS will host and manage the samples. Several batches of each ore will be shock treated and will measure the effects compared to the untreated ore, provide inputs for the mathematical models of the respective downstream processes. We will conduct comminution tests using appropriate methods. Assess liberation through quim scan analysis and where appropriate we will evaluate changes in processing performance. We will also look for synergies with other existing or emerged technologies to reduce energy requirements such as ore sorting, DMS, and Aries hydroflow. Using all the data, the SHOT team can conduct flow sheet modeling, consider the impacts of the changes on downstream performance, and quantify the value proposition for each site. It is critical that all the ore particles be correctly presented to the microwave field for exactly the right duration, in a manner robust enough to survive the operational extremes of a mine site. Jenneke and Johansson will measure the individual flow properties for each ore for a range of conditions. These properties, along with site-specific constraints, will drive the functional and detailed designs to ensure consistent, reliable flow through the material handling elements. We will use J&J proprietary software to optimize particle velocities and to evaluate options for integrating shot into the existing sites and flow sheets. The impact of shot is different at every site whether that be reducing energy consumption, increasing throughput and utilisation of existing assets, or other associated benefits, such as a reduction in grinding media, wear liner consumption, and even reduction in slimes losses downstream. When we are successful, overall cost per tonne will reduce, water and grinding media consumption will decrease, rate and grade recovery will increase, the size of tailings particles will increase, and it will be possible to reclassify resources as reserves. When we are successful, especially in areas of the world that use fossil fuels to generate electricity, the energy savings will directly result in less greenhouse gas production. The Project Consortium is a virtual one, consisting of world-leading teams operating in a self-managed manner to a common goal. Having encountered and overcome a number of major challenges already, and while there are certain to be challenges ahead as the technology makes its final step, the capability, experience, and sense of joint purpose gives this team the best chance possible.